So a couple of months back, I did do a review on these. I also made that kind of like a size guide and a lot of people watched it. A lot of people got my sizing recommendations and I had a, a lot of chats in the comments about what size you should stick with. And for the most part, I'm gonna change what I said in that video to this video. Um, I confirmed it. I managed to get a size 11 of these newer foam runners and tried them on warm for a little bit. And yeah, they definitely, it's definitely worth sizing up. What is up everybody? Welcome to the Sneaker Circle. It's your boy, Danny, back with another review. And this time a correction in a previous size guide that I, that I did. So if you haven't seen that video for reference, I'm a comfortable 10 and a half in most Yeezys because they're usually like a tighter fitting shoe, et cetera. 10 and a half is my like safe size. So when the foam runners came out, I managed to get a 10 for retail and I threw it on, it was comfortable, it was wearable. So I was telling you about the time that, yeah, you could, you could go like half down if you want, there is enough room in the toe. But what I started to notice is that after time wearing these for a decent amount of time, maybe like an hour, two hours in, uh, the sides of my feet weren't feeling the best. The toes were fine. They were just like cramped in there, but I'm a really wide footed type of like guy when it comes to like my sneaker choices. So I was like size appropriately to that. So in today's video and this review, I'm going to go over this one and let you know why you should go to an 11 and give you size recommendations. If like you should stick true to size, if you feel like you're in those even size ranges, if like your true size is in a half size. So stay tuned and let's get straight into this. So I did manage to snag these from bait. Um, shout out, shout out to bait. Love you guys. This is like another raffle I won from them. Just super, super grateful for it. Uh, I did manage to get these for retail. I don't think I'm the type of person that would buy these for resale because the prices are just up there. And I know there's going to be like a consistent amount of just re-releases. We have foam right there and then we can actually see the shoes right here. They're, they're not bad. They're, they're the, the Dookie Stain Moon Gray Cream Joints, right? These are the Dog Walker um, 3000s. But you know, this isn't bad. And I managed to get an 11 in these. So again, shout out to Bait for that. If you're someone looking to buy your first pair, this is kind of what the box looks like. It says foam, it says runner, and then you got a size tag right there. I did already show you the sticker at the front of the box that kind of shows off, I guess, the details and the color. So this is technically the third colorway that Yeezy brand does for a foam runner. It kind of has this like sand-esque nature to it, but this is the first one that actually has all these gradients to it. And it's weird. It has a mix of almost everything. So it almost feels like an inverse version of, of like the moon runners, which is kind of weird, but kind of dope at the same time. These do have streaks of brown in them, which is why I call them the dog walkers because you got them dookie stains everywhere. But I don't know. This also reminds me of like melted ice cream. So it's kind of like that childhood, uh, you know, you left your, your cup of ice cream sitting out for too long and then this is what you end up drinking. Here's a quick shot at both bottoms if you're if you're into that. Sicko. And just the variations between the gradient and everything. And I'm, I'm saying like, no matter how many times I see these and how many times I see them on feet, these are a really weird shoe, you know, really weird shoe. Now getting into the sizing, like I said in the previous video, I said you could, if you were like in the half zone, you could definitely size down. So I wore these indoors. I didn't even go out with them. I feel like if I would have gone out with them, I would have regretted it like instantly. But yeah, these definitely are made to hug your foot. They're not like super tight to the point where like your toes start hurting. It was the sides of my feet and like the top of my foot. That was really bothering me after after a while. The initial like, okay, I got it in, it's fine. Um, that 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 was just the case, you know? And when I tried on these 11s, so me going half a size up instead of half a size down, uh, I definitely have a lot more space in there than anticipated. For my international folk, here is what that size says, right? I guess if I could get as close as possible. That is what the size tag says on the inside of the 11, and this is what the size tag says on the inside of the 10. So if you're looking for like the UK sizing, if you're looking for like the Japanese or the Chinese sizing in centimeters, there they are. So the cool thing about this slip on realistically is they are made to just kind of like hug your foot. So even sizing up to the 11, going half a size up to my safe size, I still have enough grip on the heel and a little bit on the front where it doesn't feel like I'm going to slip out right away. 
there's no license there's no tighten methods there's nothing in this sneaker that kind of like allows you to reinforce your fit in there but it's built to like kind of just hug your foot and that's the case with the size 11 which is why for these last couple weeks i have been telling a lot of people that leave comments in the other video that if you're gonna buy this sneaker definitely you know size size up instead of down but in that same sense if you're someone who's like on a steady size if you're a size 8 9 10 11 12 if you're not like in those half sizes don't heed the advice if you're a 9 don't go for a 10 you should be comfortable if you you're already experienced and easy sticking to that 9 if you know what i mean and i guess that little factor aspect kind of builds the confusion around these runners or these mules because someone that's a size eight can say, oh, they fit true to size, just go your true size. But if you're a 10 and a half and, you, and those sizes don't really release, they're like, like unicorn sizes, you're just safer going half a size up. Because I think like on the time of the release, a 10 and a half in these, which only released on Easy Supply for some reason, um, if they even released it all, if they weren't just fake listings on like Goat and stuff, they were going for like six, $700 while that size 10 and size 11 was going for like 300. So definitely just do the size up. You won't regret it, especially because this is a shoe made to just slip on, hold you, and then with some force, you can just slip right out. I noticed that with these, it's a little bit harder to get in. I'd have to, I, could, I wouldn't be able to wear thick socks with these, which is the move nowadays. If you're gonna wear these, you're gonna wear them with some thick socks. You have more like space, more comfort. So I feel like these, just, just in that distinction alone, realistically, are the winners. Like if, if you're watching this video because you're unsure about what size to get uh in layman's terms if you're stuck in a half size just go up if you're stuck on a true size just stick to a true like i said if you're a seven eight nine stick with those sizes if you're a seven and a half an eight and a half a nine and a half just size up and this also goes for ladies as well um you guys know your foot your feet better than i do if you're kind of like a wide-footed person i say stick to these stick to these sizings like just just half up if you if you're stuck in a half size stay true if you're not stuck if you're like an eight and you're like wide footed and you're, but you're a comfortable eight then just stick with an eight you'll you will be completely fine it's just when you size down if you go from a, like like i did if you go from a ten and a half to a ten that lack of space that you're used to it's felt throughout the shoe and you don't get that comfortable experience that you're looking for when it comes to wearing a foam runner you know but with that also comes the idea that if you're like a nine and a half and you're not a wide footed person, if you have a more narrow foot, I think you could pass off wearing a 10. See, this is this is why Yeezys are so tricky. And that's why I'm saying like, you know, your foot better than I can. If you're one of the people that can wear like a, a half a size down in certain shoes because your foot's narrow and it's just you don't really like as much space, then yeah, go half down. You will be fine. But if you're a wide footed person, or even like a normal footed person, do not do that. Unless of course you're that standard size. Let's just call it that way. If you're base size, do that, you're fine. So here we have the right and the left shoe of the moon runners and these like gray cream joints. I really forgot the nickname that these these ended up getting. Um I was really surprised when I got these, I gotta admit it. I wasn't I wasn't really counting on them. Adidas never blesses me. Easy supplies always is always a mess. But you know, bait, bait held out for me. If you guys don't know, just Google bait me. Their shop for their collectibles. They're just great. This isn't a sponsored video. I'm just an avid fan of shops that do it like right, you know? Um, you think about certain shops that just backdoor everything and, and it's just it's just super scummy. Bait's one of those stores that it really is for collectors. So maybe not just for shoes, check out like their anime merch that they do sometimes or like in-house anime collections are really dope. I love the One Piece joints. They have figures, they have collectibles. This sounds like an ad, but it's, I promise you guys, it is not. They have not contacted me, anything. I'm just super grateful for them. And, you know, I, I always try to represent anywhere, anywhere that shows me love. So last little look around, here we have these. Here, here we have those dookie stains, just throughout the entire shoe. I don't know if that's gonna turn anyone off to like buying these, but trust me, they're not that bad in person. They're really dope. Um, they're crazy on feet, but I can't help but feel like I'm a hobbit when I wear these. Not cause I'm short, but like, cause just the way they make my foot look. Here's the moon gray. So you don't have to go watch that video. Here's that like, I like this color combo without the, without the brown, realistically. Here's the inside, this little like work of art piece of foam. 
you know what i'm probably you know what i'm not gonna wear these i'm not gonna wear these out until donda comes out i'll break these out i'll undes these the day donda comes out i'll post that on my instagram um if you don't follow me follow me there at the sneaker circle on the instagram this is where i'm gonna call it quits guys thank you for tuning in i really hope this video helps feel free to leave a comment down below um with any questions with any suggestions if you want some help i will help always love to uh i will see you guys in the next video so right now i'll start this off right here in this corner right here we do have the subscribe button if you're new to the channel if not in this channel or this corner right here we do have what youtube might recommend for you and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video peace